So, today we're talking about the clean diet. Um, and if you really want to get deep into the clean diet, go check out um, Tim Schaff, Schaff? Yeah, Tim Schaff on YouTube, and he will really talk about clean diet and stuff with you. Um, and also check out Ryan Lewis, Megan Elizabeth. They're awesome. And Fully Raw Christina. So those are the four people that I actually want you to check out. Um, so I'm talking about the clean diet. And the clean diet is actually starting off with no processed food like this. I have to eat these with my brother's name. Um, so the clean diet is no processed food, more water, this is dark chocolate. If you feel like you want a sweet, but not too, too sweet kind of treat, have some dark chocolate. That's really, really good for you. Um, no high carb, high sugar, high salt. Um, bad example for eating something, going to Pizza Hut and getting a pizza. Don't do that. Um, because, or McDonald's. McDonald's is pretty bad for you. It's shocking how much ick they put in their food. Um, no Wendy's. I know some people say their salads are really good. Just don't. Go to the store, get a head of lettuce, get some cucumbers, get some onions, get a good dressing, and put it all together. Um, now, you can go check out those people's uh, YouTubes and actually check out their recipes for their whole food. Um, mostly raw. Um, some of them, Tim is not fully raw, but he does have quite a bit raw vegan meals, but he does eat um, cooked most of the time. So what I'm going to be telling you today is what I'm going to be doing on this diet, and it is starting June 5th, um, and it is going to be hard, but it's going to be fun because we're all going to be doing it together, and this is my food diary. If anybody knows me, I have to write down my food. I haven't done it. I'm really, really bad the last couple of months. I haven't been writing down. Um, because it just hasn't come to me and said, hey, write down your food. So I picked it back up after thinking about this diet. Now, with this diet book, you can just write down calories with the food. Um, but what I'm going to be doing is writing sodium, the calories, the carbs, the sugars, and the total fats. Um, and proteins, maybe. Um, but what I want you to do, go into the grocery store today or tomorrow. Um, whenever you watch this, actually go to the store and check out the produce section and say, hey, I want to actually have, camera light keeps going off, um, go to the produce section Find a meal, or find some food that sounds really good. Don't think about money or anything like that. Just go get the food. Get like one or two little mangoes, a head of lettuce, some cucumbers, some zucchini, some red peppers, some green peppers, some yellow peppers. Um, get avocados, a bag of spinach kale, uh, some green onions. Don't get too, too much garlic or onions or anything. Green onions are okay because the green tops are um, not too, too stinky. Um, and then go over and get some cashews and some uh, raw cashews. Don't get cooked salted stuff um, because cashews already have a lot of salt in them because they're naturally, 
or stem of a fruit from South America. Um, if you didn't know that. Um, and <coughs> so go get some cashews because you're going to be making cashew mayonnaise possibly. And I have a recipe on here. Um, somewhere, somewhere along here. I don't know where it is, but it is amazing. It has cilantro, garlic, onions, uh, paprika, chipotle powder, and salt, and garlic, and cashews, and coconut water, and stuff, and olive oil. I think that's actually the recipe. Um, so go make that. It's really, really good. It's flavorful. You can put it on veggie burgers, salad. You can put eggplant sandwiches, anything that you want. So go get that. And then go over to the section where there's the canned food and the bag of beans. Get a bag of lentils, a bag of kidney beans, a bag of black beans, um, and then get a can, two, one or two cans of chickpeas. And then if you want, you can get canned corn with low sodium, or you can get um, the freezer corn um, that's the organic kind. Um, I went to Whole Foods, not Whole Foods, Walmart, and I got some discount corn over there. So I was, it's not organic, but it's still frozen corn, and that's, that's better than nothing. Um, now you can go to Walmart, Target, Whole Foods, Sprouts, um, any type of grocery store or something. Who, wherever you go, try to find a good deal on stuff. Um, and my favorite thing to do right now is going on Pinterest. And this morning I woke up at 7.30 for some strange reason. I don't know why. I think the rain and the birds woke me up. Um, it's not the most gorgeous day. Um, it's really overcast. So I'm not going to be hanging out there. Yesterday I got burned outside. It's kind of faded, but um, you can see right here. Yeah. Um, got seriously burned. Um, so I was re wear sunblock when you're outside. <laughs> and, um, drink tons of water. So instead of eating these lovely delicious things, they're the hot wing or the hot buffalo wings gluten-free pretzels and Snyder's. Um, instead of doing that, try and drink more water. Pull and spring water, of course, because it's the best water ever. Um, or the Nestle, same water still. It's exactly the same water because Nestle owns Pull and Spring. And if you're drinking Nestle water, you're actually drinking Pull and Spring water. Um, that was the smart thing that I learned um, I think like 10 plus years ago, um, when Nestle bought over Bone Spring. Um, so go pick up yourself a book so you can write down all your diet stuff. Try and stay away from this. And if you're asking for something sweet, have a little dark chocolate. If you want something salty but creamy and you can put this on, it's the garlic herb um, cheese, and you can put that, like a good tablespoon of it, on top of some chili, and it's really good. Um, I have vegan chilies, I have the easy chili down um, on, my, uh, on my page, you can check that out, that's easy, it's a can of tomato soup, try and stay um, with low sodium. Um, because the less sodium, the less water weight you have, you can lose more weight. It's really good. It's awesome. Um, the big thing is, if you're craving something savory and sweet, have a green juice. If you're craving something just out of this world, like pasta or something, what I like to do is I like to make a pasta dish, but
but put most, um, mostly vegetables and healthy stuff in it, like throw broccoli or spinach or kale. Um, I do put a lot of olives in it. That's one big cut thing that I'm going to be cutting out of my diet for a week. Um, and this diet's going to be going from Wednesday the 5th till the Tuesday, I'm blanking what day that is. The next Tuesday, like next week's Tuesday. Um, so, uh, it's going to be going for a week. And we're going to be writing down our morning and night weights on the book. Calories, protein, all this awesome stuff. Um, and if you don't have your book on you during the day and you go out to eat, um, if you have a smartphone or something, go on notes, um, or just type in, uh, what you had for your calorie and your protein and just write down your stuff. Um, and that would be really, really easy to, um, to do. And just try and stay clean. Um, if you, one day you eat something and it's just so bad, like yesterday I ate so much salt, not yesterday, um, Friday, Friday a lot of salt and I ate bagel chips and salsa, it was the sweet and salty kind of thing that was going on. I ate way too much chips, way too much salt. And yesterday, I ate salt too. Today, I am not feeling that I want anything salty. Nothing. I want sweet. Um, but right now, I actually really want a salad. And that's the weird thing about it. You crave something for a couple of days or a day or so, and then you wait it out and you're like, oh, I want this. Um, if you crave a certain type of fruit, like a week ago, I was craving papaya like crazy, and then it was mangoes. Go to the store and just pick up the stuff that you crave, but don't crave the unhealthy stuff. Crave the healthy stuff. Um... If you want, like if you have like a birthday party that your friends are doing or your kids having, um, try and make a healthier version of cookies or cakes or something like that. Um, the one thing that is actually really, really good, the mango or I think the strawberry, there's a bunch of the popsicles from, uh, Whole Foods, it's the Whole Foods brand, um, they have popsicles that are whole fruits, and then Edie's has some pretty good ones, that does have sugar in it, so cut that down, that's like really, really sweet, um, their lime ones are, are not Edie's, Outshine, um, I have Outshine ones downstairs, and I've eaten one, and it's really, really, really sweet, um, so, Try and make your own popsicles because they're possibly the best thing you can possibly invest on. Now, frozen fruit, frozen vegetables, go ahead, do that. Um, anything that says organic on it is usually going to be a little pricier, but try and find it at a discount price or try to find a coupon with a sale and then you're going to be good. Um, I'm really into the Beyond Meat, the ground meat. That stuff's not that good for you, even though it's plant-based. It's not 100% awesome for you. Um, with eating processed stuff, it like builds up more um, fat and stuff, even though it's low fat. Um, stay away from pancakes. I had pancakes and frosting for breakfast 
or brunch. It was close to noon when I actually ate them. Um, so just go on Pinterest or go to those people's YouTubes and find some really healthy recipes. Uh, Rock Christina, Fully Rock Christina usually has pretty good meals um, that are really good. She has a mango avocado salad dressing that she puts over um, a salad that's really, really good. Um, and I've changed it up a little bit. I put a little spice in it because I love spicy. Um, and just go check out their foods. I'm going mostly making theirs. Um, I'm going to go on Pinterest, find some meals. Just feel what you want to eat. Just don't eat the high calorie McDonald's or the fast food stuff. Do you know how fast you can make a salad? About two minutes. You can make a salad in two minutes. Making a hamburger. A hamburger run to McDonald's. That la that lasts like your lifetime because that's unhealthy. So try and make good in your food of life. So um. I'm going to go get some more water because this is almost empty. Now I'm going to go eat my salad that I didn't eat last night. And then I have to go take photos of my mom's house. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. And um, I am going to be posting two of my uh, lovely food hauls that I just did. Um, I went to... Veranda's Asian Market in Portland, and I went to Trader Joe's, and I got some amazing deals um, on some stuff. Jack's fruit was expensive, but it was delicious. I got some durian, so I'm going to be going to try that in a few minutes, and I can't wait. I have to go grab my camera from my brother because he just got home, and I cannot believe I spent almost the whole entire weekend with my brothers. Um, and I... I love the sound of the weird scream that my brother is doing right now to the dog. So go <laughs> go invest your health in some healthy eating and I'm going to go eat a salad.